Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Pastor Faustin. Well, uh, Pastor Faustin, the Lord Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Bara, the Creator, He has spoken with me. Um, and in this conversation, I see um, I see a lake that is a salty lake. I see a salty lake. Again, I see a salty lake in this dream. And then the Lord Jehovah, he tells me to point at this lake with my prophetic finger. And then the salt is taken away from the lake as I see by the Lord Jehovah. And then he replenishes the lake with clean drinking water. Again, I see a salty lake in this country, and the Lord Jehovah, he shows me this salty lake, and then he asked me to point at this lake with my left prophetic finger, and then I see the salt taken away from that lake by the Lord Jehovah, Imehu, Jehovah Hamelek, Jehovah Hashofet, Jehovah Hoshea, the Savior. I see him take away the salt when I point at this lake as commanded by the Lord. And then it becomes thin water and salty water, no more water, fresh water. Again, the Lord Jehovah, Rohi, Jehovah Rafa, Jehovah Ori, the Lord, my light. He has spoken with me about a lake in this country. And it's a salty lake. I see a lot of salt on that lake. I see a lot of salt. It's white, white salt on that lake. It's really white. I see from a distance that the lake is white. And then the Lord Jehovah asks me to point at this lake with my left prophetic finger. And when I do so, I see the Lord Jehovah taking away the salt. He takes away the salt from the lake, the details of which I cannot share here today. And then after that, he replenishes that lake with clean water, fresh water, and salty water, water that is not salty. Well, uh, these are the times we live in. We are living in the days right prior to the coming of the Messiah. We are in this dispensation right before the Messiah comes and the messenger of prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah is here. And this is the voice of him that calleth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. And at this time, when this voice of prepare the way is right here on the earth. Many, many big things will take place on this earth. Signs and wonders. Just today we witnessed big, big sign and wonder at Riverside Drive when the Lord led me to touch a shriveled hand and then he released the hand. It's a very shocking event of our time. These events, these signs, they speak about the coming of the Lord. They are all meant to trumpet the coming of the Lord Jesus, Jehovah El Olam, the everlasting God is announcing to the nations that the Messiah is coming, that everyone should prepare at this hour. These events are meant to cause people to move from their complacency, from their places of usual familiarity, that people may begin to seek God in a more serious way, to develop a tighter relationship with the Lord. 
again, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me in a very tremendous dream. And in this dream, the Lord showed me a lake. And I see this lake. He shows me that lake from a distance, from a distance. And that lake is a salty lake. So I see white, white, a lot of salt, white salt on it. And then uh, the Lord asks me to point at that lake with my left prophetic finger. And then I see a very big event in which the Lord takes away the salt and then it replenishes the water of the lake with fresh water, the unsalty water. These are the humongous signs and wonders of this age that the Lord promised would accompany the latter glory. Just this past night, this day here, we saw a very shriveled hand that walked into the compound. This young boy, the gift came out, totally shriveled and stuck to his chest. And then the Lord led me to touch that hand with my left prophetic hand. And then Jehovah released that hand right in the seeing of all the people, the pastors, the overseers that had come from Nyahururu, Nyandarwa, and Kinangop. And also in front of Bishop Janochaka's family that had also come before the Lord. So we are living in the days of big signs and wonders. No one should ever take them for granted. Even now as we leave to Italy, you can see very clearly that the Lord is speaking to the nations of the earth, not just Kenya. And he's telling the nations of the earth that surely the Messiah is coming. Because in that conversation, in that dream, the Lord shows me the lake. And this lake is a salty lake in this land, in this country. And I see white all over the white salt, the salt deposits on that lake. And then, as I'm busy looking at the salt deposits of the lake, then the Lord, he commands me to point at uh, point at that lake. And then immediately he takes away, the Lord takes away. As I do that, and then the Lord takes away the saltiness of the lake and replenishes the water of the lake with clean water and salty water, fresh water. Now, these are mega signs and wonders, including this past night when the team of pastors of Asiyas under Bishop Joseph Kabingu, Honorable Kabingu, brought the team from Nyandarwa, um, the team from Kinangop and Nyahururu of, of Asiyas and bishops and, and, and pastors and leaders of widows when he brought them before the Lord. And right there also was gift, Zawadi, in other words, gift Kamau with his mother. And the mother says they had gone to all hospitals and there this shriveled hand stuck to his chest, folded. And then the Lord again led me to touch that hand with my left prophetic hand. And then he released that hand right in the seeing of all people. So he walked away from that compound with a normal hand. And now he shows me this lake, the lake that is very salty, a salty lake. And I can see the salt deposits white all over the lake, even by the sides of the lake. And then the Lord, he commanded me to point at that lake with my left prophetic finger, and then that lake now, the salt is taken away, and fresh water replenishes, fills that lake. So these are the big signs and wonders that are of this hour. Kenya is so blessed, the nations of the earth are also blessed, because you have heard, you have heard very clearly 
the coming of the Lord is in hand. The coming of the Lord has drawn nearer. This is the hour for every single Christian to re-examine their walk, to interrogate their Christianity, to ask themselves the question, if the Messiah came today, would I make it? And that is the only way they can take a spiritual audit of their lives, make amends, and adhere to righteousness, focus on holiness, walk in absolute zero tolerance to sin, because the coming of the Messiah is near. I have seen the Messiah coming, and he is coming for a glorious church. He's coming for a holy church. Many times I have wept when I consider the number of those people that will make it. But there is still ample opportunity for every single person to prepare. Prepare very well and enter the eternal, glorious kingdom of Jehovah in this irretrievable day of the truth, the day in which we will know who really the true Christians have been. Again, I have seen a lake, a salty lake, and then when the Lord leads me to that lake, to point at that lake with my left prophetic finger, the salt disappears, it's taken away, and then fresh water fills that lake. The Messiah is indeed coming. May those who have ears hearken unto the words of the Lord. Toda shalom.